What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. iOS 16 has been released couple days, and I bet many of you have updated to the latest system. Obviously there are some pretty cool new features on iOS 16, like log screen customization. But also, many users reported bugs and issues since the update to iOS 16, like battery draining, responsive touchscreen, overheating iPhone, and etc. So you might want to go back to iOS 15. And there's still a choice you can get back to iOS 15.7 while keeping your data. In this video, I'll show you how to safely downgrade your device back to iOS 15. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The first thing we want to do is open the settings app on the iPhone. Tap on our profile name. Tap on find my and make sure find my iPhone has been turned off. Okay, now we're going to plug the phone to the computer. And tap trust if you see this pop up. Open iTunes, and go to the summary page. In the backup field, select this computer as the backup location except iCloud. Then click backup. Now so we can create a local backup, which we're gonna use later after downgrading. And this year it seems a bit difficult to find the iOS 15 firmware. But luckily Reiboot can still help. All you need to do is to get it downloaded from tenorshare.com. And launch it. Choose Downgrade iOS. To downgrade from iOS 16 to iOS 15, we need to choose Deep Downgrade. And see, Reiboot has been automatically fetched the iOS 15.7 firmware for your iPhone. So let's proceed with the download button. Once completed, click Start Deep Downgrade. It will erase all the data of Kaos. But no worries, we will get it back later since we had the backup before. Once the downgrade completed, the iOS 15 setup screen. Well done. Now let's go ahead and set it up. When we get to the app and data screen, choose Restore from Mac or PC. And then connect your device to the computer again. And launch iTunes and start utilizing the backup we made earlier today. Before we go any further with the Restore, we should note that this backup is not compatible with the iOS 15 we have now. So for this to work, we are going to make some changes to this backup. Hold the Win and R key to open the Run window. Type in percent user profile percent and hit OK. Then go to Apple, Mobile Sync, open the backup folder. Judged by last modified time, this should be the backup we created just before. Let's get inside the folder. Scroll down to bottom and find the info list file. Open it up with a notepad. Press Ctrl and F to launch the search tool. And search for the word product. Not too far down we'll find the product version. Below it we can see iOS 16.0. What we're going to do is change it to iOS 15.0. And then go ahead and save this file. Now we can get back to iTunes and go on with the restore. Click on Restore Backup and select the one we just modified. And now it says the restore is in process and your iPhone will restart. So once the restore is completed, we can set up the phone once again. This time we'll get all our applications, photos and other data back on the device. Just like that. Congratulations! Now your iPhone has completely downgraded to iOS 15.7 without any data loss. So that's all for today's video, if it helps, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I would be very grateful if you subscribe. And stay tuned for our next video.